That's the call-in line. You can call in and talk about anything you want. 603-283-6160. And you know, it's so weird not having any sense of smell or taste at all. I was just sitting here thinking about what I'm going to eat for dinner, and it, it really doesn't matter what I eat because I can't taste it anyway. <laughs> like I, this, hate- is, this is when you go through your refrigerator. And you go to the to the very back, and you find all those things that are on their way out, and you're like, ah, just throw this, throw this in the microwave, mix this with this, and then you just, this is clean out night, Arya. This is when you go through your refrigerator and clean out. This is your opportunity, because you can't taste it that's bad. I, I don't tend to keep food in my fridge, though. I just throw it away. Oh, you're one of those. Yeah. You throw, what? Oh, no, no, you shouldn't have told me that. Well, when I say I throw it away, I mean if it sat in there for more than a oh, week without gotcha. me eating it. Yeah, you need chickens. They love eating sc- slops. Yeah. They love I don't it. want chickens. My, you know but... the good thing about chickens is not is 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 the the fact that uh, by the way, one of the one of the better decisions. I always figure things out every year or two, you know, things that I sh- I wish I was doing when I was 20, like apple wine. This stuff is so so affordable and so tasty. I wish I knew it when I was 20. Took me took me till I was thirty five to start figuring that stuff out. Chickens is another one. It's like it, they're they're basically little dinosaurs. They they feed me. They're making eggs, and I eat. You know they're not doing their job anymore. They're going in the freezer, but they're little slot machines. They just basically I don't have scraps. My neighbors don't have scrap. Well, they do, but they throw them over the fence for me. And so I mean, it's just a it's just a real neat process to see the 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 the, the circle of life doing its thing. Basically, rotten food in your refrigerator turning into um tasty um chicken broth <laughs> or any or any 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 amount of of egg recipes i've gone through every one of them i've made so many eggs recipes i just i don't oh, I, love I don't omelets. i don't know what's going on anymore by the way i couldn't find that clip that's unfortunate um but basically but basically, yeah, so basically, the- but basically what this what this expert was saying was we need to this it just came out a little while ago he says we need to get these vaccines out there before all these States start opening up. This is our golden carrot opportunity to get the vaccines out. She's, she straight out said that, yeah. and it's like that's really their motive. It's all about the vaccine from, from her point of view. And then we were talking about Fauci and what his point of view, why he keeps extending this, because the next step is the passport. And how are they going to administer them? It's going to be, it's going to be digital. It's going to be you know something coming from uh, Silicon Valley, and it's to track you. It's all about the identification well, we're tracking being system. Tracked. But before we get too deeply into this, let's go to the phones. We've got David calling from New Mexico. David, you're on Free Talk Live. Oh, man, I, I went to the dark side. I, I turned I turned into a narc. Oh, oh no. Man, Don't tell us that. that, man. Yeah, sorry about that. I spent four hours on the phone today talking to the cops, giving them, giving them uh, evidence. Hey, but first of all, when, when we had, you're talking about chickens and uh, apple, apple wine. When, when we made cannibals out of our chickens, we, we didn't uh, use the, uh, the, uh, the, the chicken hearts or the, uh, what do you call that, the rest of the giblets. We didn't use that stuff when we, when we had chickens, when we ate chickens. So we fed the giblets, the hearts and stuff like that to the chickens. How do you like that? That's another thing that a lot of people don't realize is those suckers, I, t- I called them walking dinosaurs for a reason. They're little walking little raptors. They, yeah, they're, yeah. They're, they will cannibalize each other in a heartbeat. And yes, mm-hmm. uh, there's no reason... To what? What are, we gonna, what are you going to do with it? Burn it? Bur- bury it? Why? You got the guy, little dinosaurs there. They'll gobble that stuff down, man. It's no waste. No waste. You keep calling them <laughs> little dinosaurs, and that makes me want some. You, <laughs> you, you, you come over one day and just sit down and just watch these suckers walking around, you know, digging in the dirt and, and fighting with each other. I got a rooster, by the way, now. And watching that, man, oh, check this story out. So my, so my neighbor's daughter little she's my, like five years old or something she came over to pet the rabbits and she was like coney you know that that big chicken is so mean he was fighting with the other chickens and i'm like no nah, no nah, he wasn't he was doing his job little girl and I, 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 I i tried to t- to basically uh propagate with oh. the, with the girls oh, okay and yeah. <laughs> but I, but i'm telling you what man it is violent it's wild. When you see this big old monster, he's twice the size of these girls. He jumps on the back. He's biting their heads. And it's like, dude, that's God awful. That's some, that's some straight up <laughs> that's rape. Horrifying. That's some straight up rape right there. But you know what? They just carry on because they're little nasty little dinosaurs. It, that is duck, way more about chickens too. than I ever needed to know. Duck, ducks do that too. They'll do the gang rape thing. 
it's it's awful. And and oh, and, and, and a lot of people don't realize those nice happy dolphins. Same thing. Not only are they sitting yeah, there, not are they sitting there chewing on puffer fish and getting high, but they're, they they <laughs> they beat each other to death all the time, and they're they they rape. And the seals too, man. There's some wild animals out there. Ah, oh, wow. Yeah, and, and the, the apple juice uh, or the apple wine. I don't know if you're talking about this, but. A really easy recipe for apple wine is you, if you buy the apple juice concentrate at the uh, grocery store and you pour that into a uh, empty two liter soda bottle and then fill it up with water so you got air space at the top mm -hmm. and then put the cap on put the cap on not in, not uh, entirely sealed so that once it builds up a little pressure the bubbles can still escape and then just let that sit at room temperature and and taste it each day until you tell us how you like it it fir first it turns into carbonated uh, sweet the apple soda pop and then if you, after another day or two it starts to get alcohol in it and you get like a apple champagne it, it, well i don't I, I don't like sweet wines so what would you recommend oh you, did, I make you, wine you, you let it you let it go you let it go till it's completely dry all the yeast are going to yeah, eat that the, the yeast are going to eat that sugar until they run out and or it's yeah, a yeast they can't tolerate the sugar content and then that that happens too yeah, and it only takes a couple of days. You'll have it'll be it won't be sweet anymore after at room temperature. You know, if you're talking about room temperature, meaning you know like 75, 80 degrees. Uh, after like I don't know four or five days, it won't be all that sweet anymore. It'll start to get drier and drier and drier. Yeah, I I, Conan, I want you to teach me how to make wine. I actually I actually bottled you some some hard cider, but I didn't know if you were going to be here tonight, so I oh, let, they're, nice they're sitting there on the counter. Not not to mention I have. I sealed them, so I'm trying to create some carbon, which gives it a nice, a nice bite, which is very nice. nice. Yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, telling, apple, yeah. apple wine, yeah, any kind of wine, by the way. Now, beer making, now that's a whole nother monster, and I, I, don't I know beer. how to do it. But this, but some of these, some of these beer making clowns, these brewers, I mean, just all the, all the, the work you have to do, all the grinding of your, of your, your, uh, your, your, uh, your mash and whatnot, and. Uh, you know, all the different recipes and all the different kind of yeasts you can do and all the equipment that you need. That's a little too much for me, but I know how to do it. I got books on it, but I'll let them have it. Wine, wine on the other hand is so easy. It's basically, it's, it's basically juice. You can add sugar to make it stronger and you yeast and you basically all and all clean utensils and equipment and you basically walk away and you come back two weeks later and there you go. You got some nice, tasty, uh, alcoholic beverage. I cannot complain. I love it. So, David, it. you wanted to talk about Minneapolis. Yeah, the Minneapolis riots. I stayed up all night uh, watching the or listening to the scanner, and then I, I ended up finding a bunch of video evidence on the internet that the cops didn't even have. So, I, and it's really it's, it's really entertaining video of these guys looting. So, I, I called in and shared that with the cops that they they, they weren't able to find it on their own, but uh, every twelve year old out there on the internet uh, was able to find it and supply it to them. Oh, and first of all, on, on YouTube, the reason they didn't start your punishment until you noticed it is because they don't want you being punished without you know you're, knowing uh, you're being point. punished. Good Conan. point. Good uh, point. Yeah, if, you, yeah. if you hadn't yeah. even noticed, you might not. The ban hammer might have been lifted before you even logged back on. That's a really that, – yeah, I mean, that's, that's right. the only plausible explanation, really. Yeah. Yeah, they, well, they don't they don't want to be inflicting pain on you for no reason. They want you to feel the pain. They want you to know who's boss, man. Well, it doesn't affect me any for the youtube feed to not be up i would rather it be up but it's not like i'm not crying about it and i would have even known about it if people hadn't asked me about it so yeah that's an excellent point yeah youtube's on its way out anyways same thing with twitter it's just all it all it's going to take is is a is a good uh replacement a good uh uh you know some of the competition out there to just get big all we need is ashton kutcher isn't that how twitter got big ashton kutcher said look Check me out on Twitter and bam, it was like that Twitter became a thing. I have no idea how Twitter became popular. I think that's Maybe you know, 603-283-6160. Give us a call. What do you think about the Minneapolis Rise? Or more importantly, what do you think about making wine? It sounds like fun and it sounds like something I want to do. This is Free Talk Live. If you're looking for work, the person you are applying to may be even more nervous than you are. And the way things are now, your references have never been more important. Here are three tips. First, know that employers are checking. Every hire is under the microscope these days. Second, they won't just be checking references you provide. Figure that all of your ex-employers will get a call and be asked, would you hire him or her?